So how many people in this room are boomers? And how many of you who are not boomers have to deal with this? Yeah. Okay, so the group on this stage represents a number of different generations, but a lot of us are boomers or we're having to deal with them, right? So that's why we're here. A few weeks ago, I was sitting around moping. My environment was not a good one, and I didn't know to say why not. And I was thinking, you know, a lot of things have happened. My mom passed away in January. You know, my dog died in July. And it was just like, woe is me. And I called my good friend Sandy Moore, who spoke today at one of the breakouts. And she said, you know, you have to stay present. It's really important to stay in the present tense. And I thought, well, the present really sucks. But so she said, no, you know, you're healthy. There are things to look forward to still in life? What are they? So I was thinking about that on this particular Sunday when my husband was out watching football in the man cave. You know, we weren't really thinking about how arousing that was. And, it, and he's standing in the back of the room now. With, so, but I just wanted to, I, I wrote this crazy song. I thought, why not write a song? a song, and I'll dedicate it to Woman Sage, because that's something I look forward to. And so we have for you today the Boomer Can-Can. The ladies, the, the, the Woman Sage Follies presenting the Boomer Can-Can. Cue the music. Boomer, what do you do when you've nothing to look forward to? Do you walk around the mall and not buy anything at all? Or do you volunteer somewhere to help someone and show you care? Do you sit and watch TV and at the breaks think, woe is me? Just stay present, I can hear my friends tell me. Just stay present, take a walk, look at the sea. Just stay present, lucky that you have your health. Just stay present, who cares that you lost your wealth? Now don't look back, no, don't look back, no, don't look back. Just go, walking in the mountains, smelling all the flowers, picking up the trash that people leave out on the trails. Stop at local Starbucks, start a conversation with someone you'll never meet again, and then get a Netflix movie, see it with your loved one, listen to him bitch about a silly chip liqueur, cook a pot of chili, watch some weekend football, eat and pray and love just for today. Do you have a pet at home who helps to calm your urge to roam? Are you now a Facebook fan who stays at home for Farmville land? And what about your work today? Is it enough to make you say you don't care about what's next as long as there's someone to text Dicker's Bar this afternoon? A glass of wine to cure the gloom, the gloom, the gloom, boom, boom. Clear, junk out from your attic, rent a little dumpster, throw away the stuff you don't need anymore cause your kids are grown ups and you're already a grandma. But you're not dead yet, you're not dead yet. And you still could drive a car, so drive it to a bar and have some bottled water with a slice of lemon. Then use your sanitizer so you won't get sick and have to leave the earth. Wear big girl pants, get up and dance in the mirror. Shake off your fear. Dream one big dream you can today. You still could meet George Clooney. Hey, you can live another day. Be your life is still okay. Can, 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 can live for today.